It's never happened. Film me. No, got no. underwear on. Fox, he's coming back. Come back. Come back. Come on. Yay. Hey, Abby. Oh, he just goes boom. I'm like, that hurt, mate. <laughs> okay. okay. You two today? What the heck? No, I love you, mate. Fox, I want to cuddle. You're going to pick my face, aren't you? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> She's not liking you today. <laughs> no, no, shh, come here. <laughs> no, I'm a better cuddler than Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come here, mate. Oh. Come here. I'll just come for me. <laughs> <laughs> come here. <laughs> that's Your so mother's bad. needy, Fox. <laughs> that's so nice, Fox. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're getting up. We're getting up. Of course, the one day <laughs> that morning. I vlog every morning. Every morning he's obsessed with mom. Every morning he's obsessed with me. He just wants to cuddle me. I'm like, I'm gonna vlog <laughs> the morning and like, I'm gonna cuddle vlogs. I think because he didn't get to see me yesterday. Oh, oh he wants the good gun. Uh, Whoa. Uh, Give you a massage on your neck. Ready? Really, really gentle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other side, just nice and gentle. By the way, he's just going like super, super gentle. <laughs> Usually this bathroom is like natural beauty lighting. It's like black outside today. It's freezing, it's raining, it's disgusting. I'm like a hot sleeper and I slept in these tracksuit pants and I just had to put my jumper on because it's so cold today. But let's talk about skincare. So I actually have changed up my skincare routine. My skin has been so, so good lately. And then two days ago, I got like, I wouldn't even call them breakouts. Like, see this? little dot here like I got these little dots and like my rash flared up a little bit nothing intense but I was like oh it's not perfect anymore but it's because I have my period so it's my second day of my period it's super heavy today by the way anyway whatever shut up Sarah let's do skincare I just put the ceiling lights on I feel like that's better than nothing I don't always use this but like I want to get into it I want to be that person who always wears like a headband or something so one thing that hasn't changed in like the last three or four years is I use a skin brush this is my new one they actually sent this one to me this one is from Vanity Planet because they know that I've been using their personal skin brushes for like three years if you have one of their skin brushes this is probably the one that you have I still love it it's really good so this is the old one this is the new one this one's a bit wider and I feel like it looks more modern with the color so they come in a case like this but usually the case is really chunky but this one comes in like a cute little case with holes in it so if it gets wet it's gonna like drain out I only use one of the heads it comes with three heads which just come off like this but I only use this one. This is the silicone one. I'll zoom in so you can see it. I know if you've watched my skincare routines before, you would have already known this, but I know there's a lot of new guys out there who maybe haven't seen my skincare routine before. It has two speed settings. So like one, two. But mostly for me right now, because my acne is fine now, it's my blackheads. I like go hardcore in my nose and my chin because I feel like it just like opens up the pores and gets things moving. I do have a discount code SD70 if you want to use it. But yeah, I've been using this skin brush brand for yeah, like three years and I love it. But first, I'm just going to get some warm water and put that on my skin. So cleanser, my OG, my favorite cleanser of all time. I found it on Instagram. I love it. I love their whole range. So this is Bohemian. I always say Bohemium and people come at me in the comments. It's Bohemian Gel Cleanser. It's all natural and it has aloe vera gel in there, which I love for calming my skin. I put a little, not look, I wouldn't say a little, little. It doesn't foam like massively. So I put about that much on and I just put it on the lowest setting at the start. And I kind of move my hand in a round motion with the brush because the brush spins around. Oh, Foxy crying. What's wrong, darling? Look. Oh, now he wants cuddles. I can't, okay, hold this. <laughs> Real life of being a mum. Come in here, come on. <laughs> this is what you guys were sitting on. This is my makeshift tripod. <laughs> All right, that's probably enough. And then just at the end, I put it on high speed. I uh, really get in my nose because I get a lot of blackheads. Oh, look at my eyebrows. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. <laughs> this always happens whenever I do skincare routines. I forget about my, oh, you like that? Forget about my eyebrows and I end up talking like this. Hey guys, what's up? It's like, you look like a crazy person. <laughs> 
brush those down. Oh my gosh, now I've lost my face towel. All right, well, I'm using my wet towel. I'm just gonna pat my skin dry. This is Bohemian Skin's old school purifying toner, but this is their new one. The best thing they changed is a spray bottle. It's so much easier, it's so much better. I'm so sick of having to go out and buy like those little cotton pads. And I also make sure to put a lot on. I know it looks like I went pretty hardcore, which I did, but it's also because my next step is hyaluronic acid. You're supposed to do this with wet skin or like some kind of damp skin. So you can either leave your skin totally damp or you can just put your toner on. But I'm using a little bit of the Esme Hyaluronic Serum. I love this. But I also mix it in with my vitamin B serums. I either use the one from ASAP or I use the one from Hot Care. So I put that on. And I also put it under my eyes a little bit. So I just kind of rub that into my skin. And just keep in mind, because your skin is wet, it does like, not foam, it just kind of leaves a mini film, but it does go down in like a couple of seconds. I go up my neck. So I kind of just let that set for a little bit. Cause like I said, it's kind of like a white film. And then my next step is new. You guys wouldn't have seen this before. And it's something I actually have stolen or not stolen. That's a really bad word. You know, I think she's an actress, Dove Cameron. Her skin is amazing. And I watched her morning routine and she said that she uses pure vitamin E oil on her skin. Literally just plain vitamin E oil. I do a fair amount, to be honest. I rub it in between my hands and then I first pat it into my skin. And for me personally, I just kind of pat everywhere, even around here. And then I'll get a little bit more and I go up. This is optional. Like today, I feel really, really puffy because I didn't sleep well. And I usually like to do some kind of lymphatic drainage massage. I want to do a whole video on it. So this is not that video. I'm just going to kind of skim through this. I used to use a rose quartz roller or a jade roller, but I've actually moved on to this rose quartz heart. It just gets the contour of my face a lot better. I find it easier to use. It's pretty and it's just fun. Like skincare should be fun. Well, I think it should be anyway. So I'm putting a tiny bit of that vitamin E oil just on the edge of the heart in case it's like soaked into my skin too much. And I just start from my jawline and I go upwards towards like my ear around here. Foxy's so tired. Foxy boy, come here bubba. If you have a toddler, you'll know what I mean when like they wake up in the morning and they're like already ready to go back to sleep. What's that? Jade roller. No, gross quartz. Get it right, oh, bro. Oh, okay. So as we can see, I do have a fair amount of oil on my skin, but I kind of just like go about my morning with it. And then I see how much is left over. Cause like I, a lot does suck up, but I do want to have like a nice layer of oil still there. Especially if I wear makeup, I actually like it as my makeup face. And then next I use any kind of eye cream. I'm just going to use my usual Bohemian Skin Bright Eyes Cream. I just love this brand. If I was just gonna have one brand of skincare, it would be this, plus like some random oils. So I'm just gonna put that on my eyes. Damn it, I need to throw this out. I'm pretty sure this one's expired. I've had it for so long. I don't mind it. It's the Elabache Face Saver. I also like one from Zinc. My skin is so good when I just do this routine and like no sun cream. Sun cream really clogs my pores. So this is me exposing myself saying the reason I didn't put it in my last skincare routine is because I haven't been using one. I know it's really bad. So I really want your help. I want your advice. If you have skin like me, that's quite acne prone, problematic. What is your favorite sun cream for your face? So yeah, that's my skincare routine. Me, Kurt and Fox, we're all going to White Fox. It's 9 a.m. now and my activewear launches at 11 a.m. So we're gonna go there later today so I can like write some notes and pack some bags. I just like being a part of the process. I think it'll be really fun. And I've actually never been there on the day of launch and got to pack girls' orders. Like I wanna write little fun notes. If you order my activewear, you might get one of these notes, which will be fun. The big dog making breakfast. Yeah, bruh. Eggs, toast, avocado. What are you making for Bubby? Eggs, toast, avocado. <laughs> okay. I just put up a post and said two hours until the launch of my new activewear collection. And I said, head over to my stories and help me pick what I'm going to wear. So I'm going to do like a little poll. Oh, it's so annoying that you can only do polls with like two things. It'll be out of these two. I'll do either the soldier or I'll do rally. I'm going to put this here and then that there. They can pick what I'm going to wear. Ready? <laughs> All right, his hands are in it, but that's okay. That's the boom we're going with. And I'm gonna say soldier or rally. 
Also guys, I just wanted to take this little opportunity just to say thank you so much, especially for the people who have been following me from the start. I get so many emails and DMs saying, I've been following you since you lived at your parents' house. Like that honestly means so much to me that you have <laughs> supported me for so long. You, you honestly feel like my friends. You feel like a part of my family. And like, I get excited to tell you stuff and bring you along my life with me. So yeah, I just want to say thanks for always being there for me. Let's wait for the votes. Then I'll get changed. But we need to get you changed. Come here. We'll go. Thank you. You got water down your shirt. Let's go pick an outfit for you to wear, huh? Yeah, step around that, step around it. We have the winner. This is outfit of the day. This is the rally leggings. I do have the rally crop on. And this is the team captain sweater, which technically goes with the rally set. So this is my outfit today. I'm gonna do my workout. Then I'll come home, shower, maybe get in another set. And then we're gonna go to White Fox. But first, but first. Oh, coffee. Coffee. Yes, I'm vlogging on my phone right now because there's one thing you have to sacrifice when you become a mummy vlogger, and that's heavy cameras. <laughs> heavy, grumpy baby. heavy, grumpy baby, and heavy <laughs> camera. You can't do both. Cool. No, we need to discuss the elephant in the room. What's the elephant in the room? <laughs> no, turn around this way. What? You get mad if I pick my. <laughs> you get mad if I pick my face. Turn. I'm just trying to reverse. <laughs> I don't care, right? I had a big pimple when I... It still hasn't popped. Stop! You're not in the car. You're that person where you look in the rearview mirror and they're popping their pimples. <laughs> can't show too much of the house. I know. That's the thing. I, <laughs> I want to vlog today, but we can't show too much. Oh, we, we just had our coffee and now we're at the house checking it out. Apparently, this is a trading thing. When we go through the list of stuff to do, this is Riley's, like, what are you called? <laughs> site, site manager. We'll no. call him foreman, eh? No, that's yours. Um, call him project manager. Project manager. <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna self promote myself, the project manager, and you can be full. When we make lists, I would normally do it on my phone notes or have a notepad. This is what he makes lists on. There's like so many planks of wood around the house with like do this and do this. Yeah, well, I'm recycling my leftover timber. True. Save some planks. P.S. When did you decide to become Fabio all of a sudden? Just pull. It's always in a man bum. Oh, I'm gonna be on camera, so I need to pull it out. Maybe ride the horse. <laughs> Go boss him around, Foxy boy. Hey, mate, you can run on the floor as much as you want. Eh? You want to draw? Ready? Look. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold this for you. He's so cold. Poor little bubba. Ready? <gasps> That's you. Oh, yeah, well okay. done. <laughs> sold out in nine minutes like you didn't I, even post the video i know i just posted my video just then saying that collection all that hard high. work i put into it you Do didn't you know even what? post it's, it but it's such a mix of emotions i like i feel so bad for people who didn't get it i'm so happy to be like oh my gosh like my third collection sold out but then i'm like oh no I, i'm everyone's gonna hate me i'm gonna get i'm gonna get so much hate What's the turnaround to like get more stock in? Listen, it can be quicker. We're gonna restock. We are gonna restock. So I'm gonna go to the office soon and we're gonna work out a date. I'm like shaking. But like normally I go there and I just grab other stuff for myself. I'm like, yeah. oh, I need extra of this. But now you've, you've literally just gotta wear what you've been wearing. Don't yeah. ruin it. No more wearing it to the job site. I'm excited to bring you guys to the office. We're gonna bring Fox and I'm gonna pack some orders, self and stuff. But I feel bad because I don't want people to be excited about the collection and, and then they stay up and then they're waiting and then they try to get it and they can't get it you know it makes me feel bad we'll come up with a game plan and we're restocking all right you'll get it yeah get it. it'll happen <laughs> oh my gosh i just walk around and look pretty see they're ripping on my shoes i think they look cool it's like crocs meets <laughs> i don't know space oh. <laughs> and a change of hair. So I've put the Skylar jacket on, which is like a windbreaker. But yeah, I'm loving like 
the 90s hair look right now like I don't know what the proper term for this is but like at school when I was at school we called them slut strings I don't mean that in a bad way, but like, that's what we call them, sunstroke. I would totally have worn this to school in like year five and thought I was so cool. But I would have had some butterfly clips in my hair. Do you like mommy's hair? This is the thing we're doing now. Oh my gosh. Oh, shivers. <laughs> he does this thing. If you saw, I think I was in my last vlog or maybe, no, I insta storied it. He just tries to escape. Uh, All right, fine. He's definitely going to be a rock climber, that's for sure. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Big jump, go, 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 go! Woo! <laughs> go, jump, jump! Whoa! <laughs> go! Woo! Boom! Fox, how does the elephant go? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yep, this is what where it's gonna tell you where you need to pick the item. AG22B. Yep, and this is your trolley where you're scanning it into. Yep. So you got four orders in there. Alright, I gotta be done in five minutes. AG22B. Let's go. AG22B. <laughs> AG22A. AG22B. AG22B. So click on the thing. It's saying where do you want to scan it into. So you go here. Oh. Yes. Scan you. This is a top job. Done. Announce your next one. AG23C. AG23. <laughs> AG23. Yes. AG28. We better go. That's far away. <laughs> yes. 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 Camo sweater. Great choice, customer. Yes. Give me. Last one. 28C. Yep. The list is empty. <laughs> We've got these little cards made up. It sounds so lame because it's like, oh my god, if you get a letter from me, like, I think I'm a loser. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I just think it would be fun because, like, if you're watching this vlog right now and you get a package and you get one of these, like, I'm just so lucky. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Before you say it, I write, like, a three-year-old child. I know that. If you don't know what you're doing in the workplace, just act confident. You know what I mean? Now she knows what she's doing in the office. <laughs> She deserves a raise. <laughs> Can someone? <laughs> okay. I should have got a pink sharpie. I'll put lipstick and then some um, Dust hand bath. sanitizer. Some... There's no small. Bringing me back to my old days. I remember these bad boys. Oh. All these beeps. I keep thinking it's my beep. <laughs> Can you guys stop beeping? Hey, Lauren, I won't say your last name just in case you weren't allowed to be shopping and your mum sees this. Lauren K. Lauren K. From New South Wales. You know who you are because you're about to get a note. <laughs> And then you just go complete dispatch. Put one of these on. Oh, express. Yeah. So you put the label. And um, then in a dust bag. Lauren. Oh, Lauren. What can I even say about you? It's been <laughs> two long minutes that I've known you. It's, it's been real. Oh, Lauren. What a great pick. Camo. Looks really good with your hair. I love the state you live in because I live there too. <laughs> Hashtag NSW represent <laughs> love says he. Because look at that Y, everyone. <laughs> like I said, handwriting is not my strong suit. <laughs> Into the next. So dog. Thank you so much for <laughs> supporting my reboot launch love says he. that that why like what's wrong with me madison do you care if i call you mads i'm gonna call you mads i'm gonna call you mackie c mackenzie i love your name So we're just gonna pick some random orders and I'm gonna write some notes, chuck it in your orders, and yeah, I just think it'd be fun if you get one of these. It'd be fun. <laughs> Lils, her name's Lily. Funny story, when I was growing up, I wished my name was Lily. I will tell the lady at Woolworths that my name was Lily. End of story. Thanks for supporting Reboot. <laughs> Megan, Megan Fox is gonna write you a letter. I'm gonna write your name. You can write Megan oh, a letter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look. 
You brought me. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Megan, that is just for you. <laughs> Yay! Yay! This hair weekly mullet update. It is it's a full on filthy mullet. Look it's at this flaming mullet right Look at now. this. That is <laughs> pony tail style. Let's let, actually let's go get one. Let's go get one. Yeah. It's a few days later, but this is wow. It's really dark as we can see. It's a really this is the daytime, you guys. It's pretty much daytime, and it's a really gloomy day. Hence why you can't see me. It's raining outside, which is the perfect weather for a little cook. I want to make some homemade protein balls, or actually protein bars. I've been making them like once a week. All right, let's see. Here is the mullet. I need to get like baby ones of this because I don't want it to ruin his hair. Well, that just looks. Terrible. Oh my gosh, look at my bowling ball head because I've got vitamin E oil on. That shine is not a vibe. So once a week, I've been making some kind of treat, whether it's like granola or protein balls or protein bars. I hope I can replicate the ones I made last week because they were so good. They were white chocolate vanilla protein bars. I'm boiling the jug because I like to soak my dates in some hot water for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do like 10 medjool dates and just get the pits out. I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes and we'll be back. So I'm just gonna put the 10 dates in the food processor. Okay, cover your ears, loud, ready? You wanna press it? One, two, three. So chef, good work, high five. I will say the white chocolate element is very dependent on if you can get your hands on this stuff. And it is quite expensive, so I totally understand if you don't want to get it. It's called coconut butter, not to be mistaken with coconut oil. Down the bottom, there's a layer of this coconut butter followed by coconut oil. We want that bottom section there. So what I did was I put it in the microwave for a little bit and I heated it up so I can dig down. So you don't need it. You can definitely use coconut oil instead, but the coconut butter makes it taste really white chocolatey. 10 blitz dates, two tablespoons of this. Oh, it's so hot, okay. All right, that's about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of the date water that it was soaking in. Then I've got my vanilla essence or vanilla extract, whatever you wanna use. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna measure it, but like, let's be honest. If you work with the liquid form of vanilla essence of vanilla extract, as if you don't just do like a cap full, it's just so much quicker. Pinch of salt. Okay, let's mix that together. And then we're gonna add some of our dry ingredients. Another giveaway that I'm a mum these days is these are the only measuring spoons I have, or the measuring cups, I should say, because the other ones are in the bar. They're literally Fox's favorite thing to play with. We buy him all these hectic toys and like cool bath toys that like squirt water and make bubbles. He could not care less. He just wants to play with cups. A third of a cup of protein. I'm using the Vanilla Lean Protein by Tropeka. I chop and change. This is my favorite and also the Himalayan salted caramel. I feel like this one's more versatile, especially in baking because you can make it taste like anything. Tablespoon of maca powder. This is totally optional. I just feel like it adds a nice kind of honeycomb flavor to the batter. And then just to help mix it all about, I'm just gonna add two more tablespoons of water. The thing with like protein bars and protein balls is you don't want them to be dry. If you find that your protein balls are dry, you probably don't have enough fat in there, whether it's coconut oil or almond butter, peanut butter. This next ingredient, again, is optional. It tasted really good when I did it last time. So these are gluten-free oats. I'm gonna add half a cup of oats, two tablespoons of rice malt syrup. I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of water because I feel like I'm gonna need it and then let's mix away basically until you get the right consistency look at that look at that technique I want to have some so bad so. oh you can't oh yep yeah, okay oh great <laughs> then the dummy thank you <laughs> then I'm literally gonna add a little handful of buckwheat groats for a little bit of crunch I'm interested to see how these will go in the fridge like once they're setting so anyway I just got it on some baking paper I kind of just squish it out with my hand a little bit and make it like a square shape. And then I'm gonna put that over the top and get a rolling pin. And this is kind of when you're gonna make your bar thickness. Now, you can totally trim off the edges, but I'm not a wasteful person I'm, and I'm literally gonna eat these in like four days. And then you can just eat the end parts. 
once I've got one layer of the protein bars, I just put a layer of the baking paper on top so they don't stick together. Once I have finished this process, I'm gonna let them set in the fridge for a few hours or overnight. And then I'll check back in with you guys once they're set. I was supposed to film my reactions and this made like 20 bars and there's literally two left. I may have eaten one or two. I may have eaten like 18. <laughs> the reason I actually came on here was to show you the finished product of the protein bars. As we can see, I'm just here working at my computer, but I'm having a snack and the consistency came out really good. Like I said, I am going to fully perfect these for the cooking project. I'm writing up my recipes. So basically when I cook, I write it down on a notepad and then I sit down here and I scribe it up and then we go take photos. So I'm just writing down some recipes and I'm not gonna write this one just yet. It's like good enough to eat and like everyone's loving it and Kurt's loving them. But for the cooking project, it literally needs to be perfection. I wouldn't change anything. So I'm gonna make them again and just like make it perfect. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up give it a like because it really supports my channel make sure you subscribe and keep up to date with everything that's going on i need to do another renovation series because the house is coming along so well i can't wait to show you guys and we have so much footage and so it's looking much. so amazing the footage overwhelms me we film nearly every day on our phones there and there's like stuff going on and i'm like oh my gosh i'm drowning i'm drowning in footage that i have yeah. to edit yeah and it takes so long to edit too <sighs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do a mukbang. I hate the word mukbang. Yeah, I hate it. Can Ooh. we call it a mukbang? No. Can we just not? Can we just call it eat and chat? I like alliteration. All right, food frolics. No. Or like food fallopian no. tubes. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, Disgusting discusses. Oh my gosh, I'm going. I'm going to talk my own time. Bye. <laughs>